How to pick up a rabbit. Domestic rabbits make great pets because they adapt well to an indoor environment and litter box train easily. However, when you live with a house rabbit, it's important to learn how to safely pick up and restrain your pet. Rabbits have very muscular and powerful hind legs, so when they kick out with them, there is great risk that their spine or back will be injured. It is not difficult to pick up a rabbit safely and properly, you just need to learn how. Lifting a rabbit. Help your rabbit get comfortable with handling by petting the rabbit gently. Start with short intervals and increase the time with the bunny. Consider placing a nice plate of greens out for the rabbit to eat while you stroke the rabbit to decrease any potential anxiety. Don't make sudden moves or sounds that might alarm your rabbit. Be gentle and soothing when you pet the rabbit. Rabbits are prey animals, so when they feel threatened, they run and hide if they can. Sit on the floor to minimize your size and avoid towering over the bunny. Know how not to pick up a rabbit. Never pick up a rabbit by his ears, legs, scruff, or tail. Rabbits are very delicate and you could severely injure them if you pick them up incorrectly. CE ARIA label equals, link to reference 3, greater than grabbing on to limbs, tails, or ears will cause the rabbit to react by pulling away. Doing so may cause a fracture or a dislocation or tearing of underlying muscle and soft tissue. A bunny new to the household should be picked up and restrained by adults at first. Children can pet the bunny while it is on the floor or while sitting in the child's or adult's lap sitting on the floor. Staying close to the ground for a while is a good preventative measure. Should the rabbit try to escape, they will not fall a long distance and potentially injure themselves. Practice placing your palm under the rabbit's chest and gently lifting its front legs off the ground, then setting it back down. Reward the rabbit with a treat afterward. This will help it get used to the feeling of being picked up. Gently use the loose skin behind the rabbit's neck to hold onto its scruff. Do not pick the rabbit up by the scruff alone, but use this as a handle to prevent forward motion while you use your other hand arm to tuck the hind legs under the bunny and scrunch the bunny in a gentle, bunny ball. Your free hand that is not holding the scruff should be placed on the bunny's rump. You should roll the back legs underneath, toward the front of the bunny, holding the feet up with your hand. This will prevent the rabbit from kicking out and potentially injuring itself. There are differing opinions on whether or not to scruff a rabbit. Scruffing, done gently, does not injure the rabbit. Use two hands to lift the rabbit up. Place one under his chest and one under its behind. The positioning should be comfortable for both you and the rabbit. Make sure you have a firm but not tight grip on the rabbit's body so that it doesn't leap from your hands when you lift. Make sure to contain the hind legs securely, by keeping your hand on the rump and scrunching the hind legs up toward the bunny's head. Remember, you are holding the hind legs so that they point forward, toward the head, the opposite direction of where the hind legs would be should the bunny kick out. It may help to kneel to get closer to the rabbit, so you don't have to bend and lift. Get down on the ground with the rabbit. Use the right approach. It's best to lift a rabbit either from a top opening cage or a confined area in your house. It can be much more difficult to lift a rabbit from a side opening cage. Rabbits will often run and hide when approached, so trying to pick up a rabbit in a room with lots of furniture will also be difficult. When removing a rabbit from a side or front opening carrier, do so with the hind legs first out of the opening. That way, if they get out of your grip, they will jump back into the carrier and not down to the ground. Use one hand to hold the bunny's head away from you, toward the back of the cage, while gently holding on to the scruff. The other hand is used over the bunny's rump to scrunch the hind legs up into the bunny ball, hold. Then lift the bunny out, hind legs toward you, and place under your arms so the bunny's head is given a place to hide. If you are getting the bunny out of a top opening carrier, you can use the same technique, just remember not to dangle the bunny by the scruff. If this is a well-handled and calm bunny, you are likely to be able to safely pick up the bunny with one hand under its chest and one hand scrunching the rump, without holding on to the scruff. Be aware, that if the bunny feels like it might fall, it will struggle and kick and try to get down. If this happens, place the bunny back in the carrier and re-grip or go back to using the scruff to help with restraint. Coax the rabbit out of a hiding place, don't drag it out. If your rabbit tends to run under furniture, coax it out with a treat before trying to pick it up. Better yet, manage the area to prevent the rabbit from being able to get away and hide so that it doesn't have access to hiding places that are difficult for you to access. Try using an exercise pen to confine the bunny, but still allowing them an area large enough to hop around. Never pull on a rabbit's legs or tail to get it to move closer to you. It is better to gently get a hold of the scruff to prevent the rabbit from getting away, then you can get an arm around the rabbit's body and contain the hind legs. Never forcefully scruff a rabbit or dangle it by the scruff. This will cause the rabbit injury. Look for warning signs that the rabbit will not allow you to pick it up. 
If a rabbit thumps a hind leg when you approach, be aware that this is a warning to you that you are in their territory and they are not thrilled with your presence. The rabbit may be more difficult to handle, so be prepared. Again, remember to use confinement within an exercise pen or other area to help you manage the rabbit's access to hiding places and allow you find and restrain the rabbit more easily.